Welcome to the LIBS 1540 and LIBS 1810 Student Success for Higher Learning video series. Today we're going to be talking about how to submit assignments online. So first of all you have to go to your home page for your specific course. And then you again you click on Course Tools. It'll bring down the drop down menu and you click on Assignments. This will take you directly to the page where all of your assignments that need to be submitted are listed. You can tell whether or not you have submitted an assignment by the Not Submitted or the Submitted blue text. In order to find the actual assignments, you go to the left-hand side and where each of the assignments are listed you will see files that can be downloaded. Once you've actually finished your assignment, when you click on the specific assignment that needs to be submitted, so again we'll go back to the not submitted, so if you click on the not submitted for the specific assignment, it will take you to this page. You'll notice at the bottom it says submit assignment. Just click on add a file. When you click on this, the next window that comes up is My Computer. So choose this option, and then you will see an Upload button. When you click on the Upload button, it will take you to your own files on your computer. From here, you're just going to click on the file you want to submit, then click on Choose, and then click Add. So once you've chosen, you'll see that your file comes up here. So you can double check and make sure this is really the file you want to add. If you've made a mistake, just click the X and then try the procedure again. Once you click on Add, you'll get this notification showing you which file you have added. If this is the correct file, then click on Submit. Once you've clicked on Submit, you'll get a notification saying that an email has been sent successfully. This email is being sent to you. Once you have this confirmation, click Done. If you are in a course where your professor allows you to submit more than one assignment, so in case you've made a mistake, or you've submitted your assignment and you realize there are things to add, or you realize you've submitted the wrong file, you can always see how many files you have submitted. So in this case, I have submitted one file. If you are going to resubmit a file and you want to change the file that you have added, go back to your assignments page and click on the proposal. Don't click on the one submission because this will just take you to a screen that shows you you've already submitted a file. If you click on the proposal, once again you're taken to this screen. There is a notice saying that you've already submitted a file. But if you want to submit a new file, again, click on Add a File. Again, go through the same process. Click on Choose a File from your computer, and then add the, the file to the, the assignment. When you do this, you will notice that you still have this notification. When you are adding a file, again, double check and make sure that it is the correct one you want to upload. When you click the Add a File, this is the screen you will get. It asks you if you want to overwrite your file. Most professors, if they allow you to do a resubmission, have eConestoga set up 
so that only your most recent submission is kept. Everything else is ignored. So this is why you're asked if you want to overwrite the file. So when you click on yes, again, you will get the same notification telling you that an email has been sent and you click done. You'll notice on the assignment page, it will now tell you that you've put in two submissions. If your professor has chosen to ignore previous submissions, he or she will only see the latest file that you have submitted. So I hope that helps. Make sure you try to play around with the Econostoga setting because there really isn't much you can do to hurt it. Good luck.